Hey, this is Jay from A Stitch in Time in Bemidji, Minnesota, here to give you another quick lesson on how to set a new start and end point. So let's say your design, uh, your thread broke partway through your design, and you need to come back to the point where the thread broke or just prior to it and tell it, here's where I want you to start. It's really simple. I'm going to walk through it really quickly. Let's go over to our screen. So on my screen here, you can see I have this nice little pattern. It's a continuous line pattern that's built into the software. And if you look down here on the uh, quilt, I've already quilted some here. Now I want you to notice here when it comes up to here, it actually goes around and then to the point and then back stitches here. And that's really important because as I come down to here, notice it went up here and it's, is this the tip? Well, maybe not quite. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I want to start as it's coming around this bend and, but yet still coming up to finish this point. So now I'm going to go up to my screen and it's very simple. I'm going to go to my Pro Stitcher tab. If, if you have, have hit pause, you want to hit, hit stop or cancel down in this cor lower corner. And you're going to come to this screen. And I'm going to go up here to the ribbon bar where it says New Start and End. If you don't see this, just click the Pro Stitcher tab and you'll be right here. And on the right-hand side on this column, there's a Start column and there's an End column. Well, we want to go to the Start column. And now I'm going to press Auto. And notice what happens on the screen here. You see how my start point moved to the design that is closest to where the needle is. This, this crosshair is where the needle is. So now I'm going to go down here to my screen, or to my quilt, and I'm going to put that crosshair, oh, just about a quarter inch or a half inch before where the thread broke. So the thread broke here. I'm going to go put it up on here. Now if you look back on the screen, you can see that it's at the exact same point. So now I'm going to go over to the right hand side. I'm going to unclick auto, but we don't know if the, if the line, I'm going to zoom in on that here real quick and I'm going to zoom in, make a drag mark there. We don't know if that is, if the line that I got was the one that was stitching out to the point or away from the point, but it's really easy for us to know here because on the right hand side here, I have these little arrows and down at the bottom here, I'm going to go and click down like it's going to continue sewing. Ah, it was on the way away from the line. And that's really important because you've got to know whether you're selecting. When, it's, when all you can see is just one line, you have to know which direction it's traveling. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back here and I'm going to back up until it goes right to the point and, and comes back up to where I am. Now, when I hit play, it will continue on. So on my screen, I'm going to go up to quilt and I'm going to click run and I'm going to uh, click proceed and it's going to do my pull up for me and I'm going to resume. And just like that, it's off and running again. So that's quickly how you would do that. If you if your design is not lined up, like let's say your gear is disengaged or you hit a bar or something really, really messed up, you will want to go back and reposition your pattern. And I did showed that in another video. So that's how you're going to be able to get that lined up exactly. You do that first, align it up first, then set your new start and end point. One more quick thing I want to point out before we go. Let's say that you have a multiple, we're going to cancel out of this on the screen here because I can just show you where it's at. Let's uh, zoom back out here so we can see the whole thing. And come on. There we go. I'm going to zoom to see the whole the whole pattern. Let's say we wanted to, we're going to go up to the new start and uh, go to new start and end here. There's another section down here called, called jumps. If you have multiple lines in your quilt, like let's say you have the whole edge to edge quilt laid out and you're, you're down on row four. Well, if you want to quickly jump to the beginning of row four and line it up with that, it's really simple here. You would just simply 
go to the start column and down here where these arrows are you would click on this down which is the direction of travel the direct direction of stitch out i'm going to go down one jump and what would happen is you would see if there was multiple rows here it would well let me just do, do it here real quick i'll just repeat this here um so if i was back over here in pro stitcher and, and new start and end if i go to jump look what it does see it moves the start point down to the, the second row if i hit jump again it's going down to the next start point and so that's very quickly a way that you can set your new start points either by jumps or by individual stitches i hope this is helpful for you um and we're going to continue putting more of these out there, but it, this is a very basic concept that once you get it in your head after you've done it a dozen times, it's going to come uh, instantaneously, but it's the practice of getting there. Thank you.